good morning students in our grade 8 today we are going to recall about the same chapter 3 synthetic fibers and plastics today we are going to recall about two topics that is acrylic and polyester children look at the following pictures carefully see one by one do you remember what kind of material it is what type of material is used to prepare these things whether it is made up of natural or chemical substance let us see the pictures carefully and see the symbol also it is also made up of some types of chemicals do you know already see yes children your guess is right all these materials are made up of polyester what is meant by polyester so now we will recall it is made from a monomer called ester so many ester units combined together it is made polyester so normally this polyester is manufactured from petroleum products what are the properties of polyester c it is very strong and very durable that means it gives long life and resistant to chemicals and this polyester material does not shrink easily at the same time this polyester material mostly it is made up of hydrophobic in nature that means it will not absorb water and dries up quickly and also it retains its shape that's why we are using these polyester materials as shirts sarees and also in your school uniform also you are wearing with the help of this polyester we have different varieties of polyester fibers also so now we will recall one by one children do you remember what are the types of polyester fibers already we have seen that is some popular polyester fibers you know already that is terlin and also pet what's the brand name of terlin we know already it is dacron so this terlin which can be drawn into a very fine fiber and also it can be woven like any other yarn so that's why this terlin mostly we are using in the form of dacron and next one it is well known polyester fiber that is pet polyethylene terephthalate so these pet bottles normally we are using for drinking water and also many other purpose we know already so these pet is used for making wires films bottles and also some other products these polyesters not only we will get in the form of synthetic fibers and also we will mix this synthetic fiber with natural fiber will get variety of different fibers that we will discuss now in the form of blended fibers do you know what is meant by blended fiber do you remember children these are formed by mixing natural as well as synthetic fibers so polyester fiber also it is mixed with natural fibers like wool cotton we will get many different varieties for example poly wool is one of the polyester material it is made by mixing polyester and wool as well as poly cord also is made by mixing polyester and cotton same way terry cord as the mixing of terlin and cotton these fibers are called blended fibers see the chart now see the polyester is here and polycotton cotton so polyester is synthetic fiber cotton is the natural fiber and polycotton is an blended fiber see the properties of polyester cotton and polycotton each and every properties are it is different see the properties of polyester it is durable 
dries up quickly and less wrinkles and less fading same as well as poly cotton also it resembles like the polyester there is no shrinkage affordable keeps shape and color breathable soft less fading and see the cotton it is soft and strong easy to dye and also easily we can breathable will prefer to wear in summer days so each and every synthetic fiber has a unique properties as well as natural fiber also has a unique properties same like this blended fiber also has a unique property next look at the following materials carefully children and see one by one and tell me what is the materials made of and what type of material is used to prepare these kinds of material yes children your guess is right it is acrylic so see here acrylic polymer it is light white soft as well as warm like wool and also wrinkle resistant does not shrink easily cheaper than wool so we are calling this acrylic fiber as an artificial wool do you know children which fiber is called artificial silk that is rayon same like this which is called artificial wool that is acrylic fiber so next we are going to discuss about what is acrylic see it is an artificial wool a synthetic fiber made from a polymer unit it is called polyacrylonitrile unit so acrylic is an artificial wool keep it in your mind next we are going to discuss about the properties of acrylic see it is warm and lightweight soft and also flexible and resistant to moths and chemicals it gives wool like feel same like this polyester this fibers also does not shrink easily and also wrinkle resistant and these fibers normally dyed into variety of colors also already we know these are cheaper than wool so these are the properties of acrylic fibers next uses of acrylic fiber see what are the uses of acrylic fibers these fibers as used in making sweaters already we have discussed in our pictures also and blankets and shawls and also track suits so this acrylic fibers also used in many places for example it is used as lining for boots and also gloves see these fibers also used to for preparing carpets also and these fibers are used to prepare vehicle covers so these are the uses of acrylic fibers so children based on this topic now we are going to discuss the question and answers one by one already in our last class we have discussed about 10 questions normally we will write in our class work same like this these questions also you will continue and write in your class work one by one some multiple choice questions and short answers it is given in your worksheet see to that and answer for that questions also now we will discuss our 11th question see why storage of acrylic cloths is easier than woolen cloths see what's the answer for this question do you know this and also ask your parents how they will protect their cloths that is woolen cloths see it is woolen cloths normally need naphthalene balls do you know these balls it is white balls to protect them from attack by insects that's why we will use this naphthalene balls so woolen cloths normally need naphthalene balls to protect these cloths but acrylic is synthetic wool so no need to use these balls instead of this uh, this acrylic itself resistant to the action of moths and insects next question number 12 state the unique characteristic of polyester fabric and its applications see the answer 
polyester fabrics do not get wrinkled easily and it remains crisp and can be washed easily any other fabric thus it is used to make dress shirts and also some other materials so pet also is one of the familiar form of polyester already we know that and this is used to make bottles utensils wires and many other things question number 13 list the common varieties of polyester also mention the natural fibers which are used for blending to enhance their properties and so for this question is polyester could be blended with natural fibers to enhance its properties the common varieties of polyester are pet that is polyethylene terephthalate and also terricot terisil and terewool so already we have discussed what is terricot teri terisil polycot and polywool so terricot is nothing it is made by blending polyester and cotton and also terry silk is made by blending polyester on silk terry wool is made by blending polyester and wool so all these are blended materials our next question 14th one a lady went to the market to buy a blanket listen carefully a lady went to the market to buy a blanket the shopkeeper showed her blankets made of acrylic fibers as well as made of wool she preferred to buy an acrylic blanket can you guess why see listen see this question carefully because this is value based question you have to answer properly a lady went to the market to buy a blanket but the shopkeeper showed her blankets made of both acrylic as well as made of wool but she prefers to buy an acrylic blanket why can you guess the answer children so now i will give you the answer listen carefully see the blanket made of acrylic is cheap durable light in weight and also these acrylic materials available in variety of colors and provide the same warmth as the top wool because of these properties she preferred acrylic compared to wool next one question number 15 name and explain a fiber which appears to resemble wool see the answer for this question we know the answer already acrylic fiber is an artificial wool so this acrylic fabric resembles wool it is cheaper than wool that's why it is available in variety of colors also and this fabric is also more durable than wool so this is the answer for this question and next we are going to discuss about the question number 16 what is the chemical nature of polyester see the answer polyester is actually made by repeating the units of a chemical called ester that is the monomer unit and these esters are the chemicals which give characteristics smell like fruits that means it gives pleasant smell like fruits so these monomers ester combine together to form polymers that is polyesters so these are the chemical nature of polyester today's last question 17th one manufacturing synthetic fibers is actually a helping conservation of forest comment your answer this is your question today the 17th one last one see the answer natural fibers require raw materials from plants and animals this is you know already because we are getting natural fibers from natural materials so they resulted in deforestation and also animal killing however synthetic fibers are made up of synthetic materials and not from plants or animals therefore 
manufacturing synthetic fibers is actually a helping conservation of forest because we are not wasting natural material for preparing synthetic fibers write these questions in your class work neatly children in our last topic in this chapter it is plastics and types of plastics in our next class we will recall that topics and we will complete the lesson and see your worksheet in that you have mcqs that is multiple choice question and also some short answers so try to answer for that questions also thank you children